We'll guide you through how to download and install the Witherstore mod in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, go and quit Minecraft. As we're installing a mod, we are going to go and need a mod loader, so we'll cover how you can get that as well. But just before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They might go to Minecraft Server Host. If I go and scroll down, I can show you some of the awesome features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it and your server will always be online and so much more. And at the moment you can get 30% off your first invoice. So if you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the description and the comments so you can easily go and check them out. But to continue, first of all, we need to get the Witherstorm mod. So go and type in Witherstorm mod Minecraft like so. You can come to the CurseForge site. It's a trusted place you can get mods from. Scroll down and check out the description. Loads of useful info here, but we're just gonna go and download it. So we're gonna click on files. Scroll down and now what you want to do is go and choose the version you want it for. The main thing to note here is that you just know the version because then we'll go and get Forge for that version and just make sure the mod loader is Forge as well. In this case, I'll get this version here. So I'll come over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. Now you can go and wait. That's now downloaded and now we need to get Forge. So you can go and type in Minecraft Forge as well. Come to the Forge site. Now come over to the left and you need to go and get the same version as you got the mod for. So my mod was for Minecraft 1.20.1. So we can come over to the left and go and click on it. And we can then go and click on installer. Now, when you go and do that, you'll get taken to an ad wall. Just be aware this is ads. To get to the Forge download, you need to click on the skip button in the top right. Once you've done that, the download will go and start. And that's it. Now come to the bottom of your computer and open up your file explorer. Click on downloads on the left and find what you just downloaded. What you can then do is go and put it onto your desktop. It just makes things easier. Now let's go and install Forge. So go and double click on it. When you do that, you should go and get this pop up. If you don't, maybe nothing happens or something else opens up. This is likely because you don't have Java or it's not working correctly. So you'll need to go and get it. So open up your web browser and you want to go to java.com. What you can then do is download Java and install it. It's super simple. And then come back to Forge, right click on it, hover over open with and select Java. You may need to click on choose another app, then select it and click on always. It should then open. If it still doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix. That's super simple to do. And we've got a full video on that and that will go and fix the problem hopefully. Select install client, press okay and it will go and start. Once it's finished, it will say successfully installed and you can click OK. Then what you can do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. In the launcher, go to the top and click on installations. And what you then need to do is scroll down until you can go and find Forge. Now hover your mouse over it and go to the right and click on the file or folder icon. It will go and open up and you need to scroll down here until you go and see the mods folder. Go and double click on it. Now what we need to do is go and drag the mod in there. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way just so I can see the mod, then go and drag it in like so. You can then go and close off of it and that's it. So then what you can do is click on play at the top and go to the left of the play button and make sure Forge is selected. And here we are, you'll know it's installed because you can click on mods and there it is. It's recommended that you don't go and do this on a world you really care about as it may get completely ruined. I've now spawned in and open up your coordinates and you need to go to zero zero and you'll go and find this building here. At the top here, you'll go and find where the wither is going to be made. And so what you can then do is go and grab the head. And what you need to do is go and place the head on top of it, hold shift and place it on it. And as you can see, we've now gone and made it just like so. And that's pretty cool. And now you can go and fight it. So before activating it, it's probably a good idea to get some resources together. I wasn't very prepared there, but you get the idea of how it can go and work. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We've got a lot more guys like this to come. And there's also a ton on the channel, which you can go and check out. If you guys are in need of a Minecraft server, check out Apex. A big shout out to them for sponsoring this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.